Hi, my name is Corey Pereira with Production Expert, and today we're going to take a look at Vocaline Ultra from Synchro Arts and how it can be used for post-production. So one of the bigger challenges as a dialogue editor is getting ADR or alternate lines to match production. So what we're going to do is take a look at a few spots in a film and see how Vocaline Ultra does. So the first spot we recorded some ADR, but first of all, we're going to take a listen to the original production. It's okay, there's nothing you could have done. Still, you'd be safer there. So you can hear uh, the characters are hugging, so it's a little bit muffled. So we went ahead and recorded some ADR for both those lines, and we can take a listen to that ADR now. It's okay, there's nothing you could have done. Still, you'd be safer there. All right, so we like the performances, but the lip sync is a little bit loose. So what we're going to do is go ahead and open up Vocaline Ultra. And the first thing I noticed with this compared to Vocaline Project, which I've been using, um, or Revoice, is that the window size is resizable. So this is really handy, especially when I'm working on a laptop. I sometimes like to be able to shrink down an interface a little bit smaller and put it in a corner. Or if I'm working here in the studio, it's nice to be able to make it a little bit bigger, move it over to the second display uh, and see what you're doing a little bit better. Uh, but for right now, we're going to shrink it down a little bit so that we can see picture and the interface like this. So the first thing we're going to do is go ahead and select our guide or production, and I'm going to click capture. It's going to load it into the software, and now I'm going to click on the ADR we recorded, and under the dub section, we're going to click capture. And now what it's going to do, it's going to go ahead and compare the two. And much like in the earlier versions of Vocaline, you have the option to match timing. Uh, but in this case, you can see there's control over tight or loose. So this lets you dial in exactly how much you want to match it. Sometimes it sounds a little bit more natural if you uh, don't make it quite exactly match. Um, so it's nice you have control over that. And then the big change is the match pitch. So now you actually also have the ability to match the pitch to um, the original production audio. So what we're going to do, we're going to start off here. Uh, we're going to say match timing tight all the way at 100%. And down here on the bottom left, you can see the green is lit up. So we're going to be able to hear the guide. And then we're going to be able to hear the yellow output so we can hear how well those match playing at the same time. Nothing you could have done. 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 All right, so in that case, I'm going to go ahead and move it all the way to tight. That actually sounds pretty good. And now we're also going to go ahead and enable the match pitch. Nothing you could have done. 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 So again, you can hear um, the inflection at the end is a little bit different on the ADR versus the original. So by moving it to tight and enabling that, it's going to match a little bit closer. But this is definitely something you can kind of dial into your preference. Sometimes it's nice or you want a little bit different performance. But in this case, we're just trying to get it as close as possible to the original because we're replacing it mainly for technical and not creative reasons. So now we have it to where we like it. And then I'm going to hit render. And then you can see it'll render it. So before I do that, I'm going to go ahead and make a copy below. But now here, we're going to hit render. Ta-da. And now we're going to listen to the new ADR matched using Vocaline Ultra. There's nothing you could have done. So yeah, lip sync looks good. And again, we can compare that to the original production. There's nothing you could have done. And now the ADR. There's nothing you could have done. All right, so now we're going to do the same thing for the second line for the other character. So we can go ahead and listen to that first. Still, you'd be safer there. Now we can listen to the ADR. Still, you'd be safer there. So the still is actually off camera. So I'm mainly going to be concerned with the uh, second part of that line. Be safer there. Oh, you'd be safer there. 
still, you'd be safer there. So what we'll do, I'm going to trim this down to the same section. Like that, now we're going to hit capture. We're gonna capture the dub. And then we are going to compare the two. Still, you'd be safer there. 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 All right, we can try the pitch. Still, you'd be safer there. 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 Now, my personal preference would be to kind of put that somewhere in the middle, but if you really want it to match the inflection perfectly, you can dial that all the way up to 100. And then I'm going to hit, uh, I'm going to make a copy like that. And then we're going to hit render. There we go. So now let's take a look at both of these together. It's okay. There's nothing you could have done. Still, you'd be safer there. There we go. So the next thing we're going to take a look at is another spot in the same film where we have two actors with overlapping dialogue. It's a little bit of a mess, uh, but instead of having to record ADR, in this case, I was able to go into the singles or the other takes uh, that were done for this scene and piece together a version from alternate takes uh, that I think works pretty well, but the sync is a little bit loose. So first thing we're going to do here is take a listen to the original uh, production. Do we have time? The fest is in week. We can't, know, but we can't look, make a new song. Enough, so yeah, you can hear that's a little bit of a mess. So now what we're going to do, we're going to take a listen to um, those alt takes. The fest is in like a week. So I found a clean delivery from him. Next week, I know, but... A clean delivery from her, but you can see the sync isn't quite perfect. Now, luckily, he's only on camera for this first part. Uh, but she's going to be on camera for the whole section. So I would say her sync is probably most important. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to start off with her guide. I'm going to capture it. I'm going to capture the dub. I'm going to go ahead and make a copy up here for safety. And now we're going to start with the timing matched at 100%. Next week, I know, but next. All right, so that's pretty close. So let's just go ahead and go with that. And then we're going to hit render. Perfect. Now, the other character, he's a little bit messier. There's a lot going on in that track, but we'll see how it does. So I'm going to go ahead and capture the guide, capture the dub, and then listen to the two. This is in like, we can't. So we really just need that first line to match. The fest is in like, we can't. So let's. The fest is in like, we can't. Let's see how that does. So now what we're going to do, we're going to click output. Render. And there we go. So let's take a listen to those separately and then together. The fest is in like a week. All right, he looks pretty good. Next week, I know, but. So does she. Let's listen to them together. I'm the fest is Next in week, like a I week. Know, but we look, can't make a new. So there you have it. There are a few examples of how you can match ADR and alt takes to production.